Hello and welcome back to the Regimentals YouTube channel. Just a quick video today, um, just because I've got the most fantastic item here and it's come into our office and it's going out uh, very quickly. Um, so I just had to film this video just to fit this in here because this is only the second one I've had in recent years. I remember having one many, many years ago, maybe 20, 25 years ago. Um, and then I had one about two years ago, which sold straight away. And now this one is coming to our hands. What it is, it's called the Flieger Stahlhelm. And uh, it's a very, very interesting helmet with this very interesting shape, um, like an ear cutout. Now what this is for and why it is this shape is because it's the helmet that pilots wore over their mesh flying helmet. So. The gap here is for the, the ear protectors, the, the ear part parts that go on the side of the flying helmet here. And it's designed to go over the top of that. Um, when you see one of these, you can instantly see that it's real. It's instantly recognizable as a copy. The inside is very, very basic with this very simple liner system and this beautiful leather on the, on the pads. There has an RB number at the front um, and the maker mark and the size at the back. Um, the strap is very similar to, uh, like to say, on a Luftwaffe paratrooper's helmet with this very simple string system at the side. Very, very dainty and unique, um, but very, very simple. And, and there's also like a lot number on the, the back of the shell as well. So to the outside of the helmet, um, very similar to your normal M35, M40 helmet um, in the, the, the very blue Luftwaffe colour and it has the rivets on the outside holding the liner system in place. Again, similar to a, a standard helmet. But then on the front, uh, they become quite unique. Most of them have the standard later Luftwaffe deck on the front. I've never seen one or you don't see them with the early droop tail eagle because these were issued in about 1944. So they're very, very late war. You would never see a droop tail eagle on there. But most often than not, you don't see an eagle at all. And they had um, a small, um, symbol painted, hand painted onto the front, being a Dutch clog, um, very recognisable symbol. And they came in various colours, the most common being yellow, um, and it came in white and red, and I think it may be in green as well, even though not many of those have ever been seen. And the, the, the clog symbol, it, it, um, it symbolises the horse vessel unit, um, a very uh, unique uh, tradition badge for one of the Flieger units. Um, a fantastic thing, they're obviously very high price. Um, this one um, was offered to me. I, I didn't, I was scared of the price to be honest, how much I had to pay for it. Um, I put the feelers out to a customer who I thought might be interested in it and he's and he's gone for it. Um, a very advanced helmet collector as you can imagine. But it's such a fantastic thing, which is brilliant to see on YouTube. So everyone out there can get to see one of these get close up pictures so if ever, one ever comes their way they know exactly what they're looking for. So that was the reason for the video and also just to say um, our website now has been, been relaunched with the new look. Um, lots of good positive comments, a lot of people are getting used to the new way to search things on the website. Um, and um, one of my issues that I have with it is that we're currently using PayPal for our credit card payment system and they charge an absolute fortune. So what I'd like to encourage my customers to do, especially my long-term customers who we've known for a long time, is when you're ordering, I know it's quick and easy to, to pay on your card, get in, get out, um, but that costs me not a lot of revenue um, in fees to PayPal. So I'd encourage you guys to place your order, maybe put you're gonna pay by bank transfer or pay by bank transfer, um, and then get in touch with me afterwards with your card details, maybe by phone or text or email. Um, maybe do a separate payment um, direct to PayPal rather than through the website. I'm just doing the best I can to try and avoid these enormous fees. In the meantime, I am in negotiations to find a cheaper way of doing it. So I just wanted to mention that in the video as well. It would really help me out if you can try and avoid uh, paying on your card through PayPal. So thanks for watching. We'll be updating the website with many new items in the coming weeks. We plan on many trips um, to Europe as lockdown is starting to come to an end. Keep watching the website 
Um, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed already. Thank you.